What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Lester Core, the Never Knows Best, bringing you some Dragon Ball Fighters matches in a very, very impromptu video. I, I just wasn't expecting this at all. Um, so I'm live right now on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Lotus Lester Core, right? And I was preparing to enter City of Mayhem, which, as you guys know, if you're a regular viewer, if you follow the WFZ community closely enough, is a online tournament usually hosted by Bum163, but tonight is being hosted by Neo Judai. But I digress. I was entering Calm tonight because I had been trying to enter Calm a lot recently, but I kept having technical issues coincidentally every time Calm came up and I, it just prevented me from being able to play the game, which is another reason why I just went and playing as much Dragon Ball because online was just uh, a struggle for me. Um, but I, those have been resolved. Oh, I forgot it's the low now. Those have been resolved. So anyway, I was sitting here and I was like, hey, let me, let me get a couple of warm-up games before the tournament kicks off. And then I ran into Axis. Now, if you don't know who Axis is, he is considered uh, probably the best Goku Black player in the world. One of the best players um, for sure uh, on the East Coast and uh, a very formidable foe who has a very... Unorthodox style of play. Oh god, it's um But it's somebody who made a name for himself by playing Goku Black, but he's played a lot of really weird teams and odd characters. Uh like he was one of the first players really making waves with Android 17 far before that character uh really rose to fame. Um he was always uh he used to be a, an Android 21 player again far before that character rose to fame. Uh I should have done the other little three to keep the corner. But uh yeah, he's a he's a really good Ginyu player. Nappa was a character for sure that he picked up at some point. I see he's playing baby right now. But anyway, the point is access to the player who used to smoke everybody at at a at a house of chaos, which if uh if you're not familiar with what house of chaos is, it's the offline local that bum used to run where players like Nakul, Lord Knight, Sonic Fox, the Kill Sage, June, Nitro, Pred, uh Coach Steve, uh Random Feed, all these guys used to go to Scamby, and Axis won so many of those events. Uh and has taken games off of uh, pretty much any player in the U.S. that you can think of, I, I, I would say, uh, especially on the East Coast, right? Um, or I should say particularly on the East Coast. But, um, yeah, so he's, 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 he's a really strong player. I've played with him in the past. I don't know if I've ever actually put him on the channel before because usually when he pops up, it's kind of just like a, you know, he slides through the stream and, I, and, I, and I'll run it. But um, I figured this would make for some pretty good games. Um, like I said, this was supposed to be my... Nice. This was supposed to be my, my warm-up, but uh, it's going to be a little bit more than that. Um... Yeah, so Nappa, Baby, Ginyu, he's one of the best Ginyu players for sure. Uh, and if you see my notification go off, it's because, like I said, I am live on the stream right now. Um, and I was planning on playing, nice, this, this team uh, in Calm, uh, for all the good is doing me right now against a player of his caliber. But with that being said, Al2 Pro, thank you for the 10 months. Welcome back to the Oscar Clan. And Kenichi, thank you for the gift sub. Really appreciate that as well. And uh, yeah, I think I did enough rambling. But yeah, Axis, really, really strong player. Won a lot of locals before. Uh, and then made a significant amount of top eights in, uh, in, in online events. And um, just really good. Wow, what a 2H. And uh, Lacuna, thank you for the 27 months. Welcome back to the Oscar Clan. Greatly appreciate that. Am I dead here? I should be, right? Yeah, we're super dead level three and that's gonna be access taking the first game right, let's see if i can do a little bit better uh, when i'm doing a little bit less talking a little bit more focusing i'm gonna need uh 100 of my brain power to take on a player uh, like access i don't remember if i actually got the sentence out when i was thinking it earlier but i, I was definitely on track to say uh, the access is like a bit of an unorthodox player at times in the same vein as double l but not quite the same like they're both they're both players who just play the game differently than a lot of other people um, but in a way that really works and in a way that only makes sense to them and that they understand. Um, you know, I, I would say Axis is a bit more normal, for lack of a better word, than a player like Double O. Uh, but he's very much somebody who like, you know, he's, he's just different. He, he's just different. You know? Got him. Three, four. Ah, that was the kill. That was the kill. Now he gets Ginyu out. I would drop it on the very last rep. I would drop the kill combo on the very last rep. We're gonna delay tag here. Oh, that sucks. That that really sucks. And that especially sucks because I really felt like I was holding down back. Oh, the gift. I really wanted Vegeta out, but I Oh by Vegeta. I really wanted Vegeta out, but I just never got the chance. I, maybe I should just try to guard cancel, but it's like so dangerous to try to guard cancel against a character like Nappa because anything that's not down back gets you killed. And then I lost the air-to-air -air interaction. What was the type of term you have to use to describe players like that? A yop, an unorganized player. 
All right, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's usually what I call double L. God damn it. Uh, I would say we were actually doing better in the first match than we are in this one. Ah, uh, I tried to dash and get a 5M and I got a 6M instead. All right, though. Okay. And then at level one, use the command grab to get some blue life back. And all right, down goes baby. We don't have our sparking. He still does. Ginyu has taken a significant amount of damage, but Nappa still at full strength. I am blocking for my life right now. Ah, oh, I tried to jump and I got hit by the second hit of auto combo. I'm so dead. I should have just kept blocking. I should have just kept blocking and Trunks got pieced up. I don't even know when that happened, but yeah. yeah. Yo, straight lurking. Thank you for the prime. I greatly appreciate that. Welcome back to the Asa Oracle. Also, what did I tell y'all? What have I been telling y'all in my videos about all the goddamn Ginyu players? Where did... I've never seen that combo before. Where did all the... Fucking Ginyu players come from. Bro, what am I meant to do? Also, you know what I just realized, YouTube? My fault. Uh, I had my camera where I usually have it for when I'm playing 2K because I was playing a lot of 2K. Um, but it was such an impromptu video. Like I said, I wasn't even playing it. I had literally just started up stream and was like, let me get a couple of warm-up games in. I, I wasn't prepared or, or anything. So, uh... I knew the 6M had to come eventually. Nothing else I've been working so far. When in doubt, again, you play a Gona 6M, and I'm dead. Damn. Damn, bro. Ginyu is a two touch machine. A two touch machine. Okay. Wow, I, I kept trying to barrier and it, uh, it was not fast enough. I guess I should have just done spin. Yeah, like he plays some really weird characters and has a weird play style. So Axis is another one of those players where his, he's literally just anti-Lotus, you know what I'm saying? Teams and players like this uh, are just ones that I'll just never be able to wrap my head around. They just think and, and, and play so extremely differently from me. Yeah, I just, I'm just getting completely and totally obliterated. Look at all the bar he has, man. Goodness gracious. Hmm. Ah. The track on baby's assist. It's still so good. <laughs> this is pain. This is pain. <sighs> I, I just I cannot fight back. Jesus Christ! It's, it's like so hard to, and you don't you you don't you don't get I can't I can't fight flares like this man. Ginyu players are such a nuisance because you can't get two seconds to think you can't 
I can't even fucking talk right now. You never have two seconds to yourself to think about what's going on. It's just constant chaos. So you throw in Nappa and Baby on top of that, like all three of these are characters individually that like once they're allowed to get any sort of game plan rolling, uh, you're basically just praying and, and, and fighting for your life. So to have all three of these characters on the same team is just like, <sighs> good God. No way. No way. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Finally allowed to play the game. The baby assist still tracked that way? It was so long. I have to spark here. Oh, the jump light whiffed. And then he mashed there, was not afraid of me doing the air dash into the JH at all, which I would have done if my jump light hadn't completely whiffed. Um, Cause the plan was to do JLLJH and then air dash uh, JM, but it just, my thumbs, I guess just did not agree. And also Vegeta's jump light whiffing there completely threw me off because I was very confident that it was not. And I thought I landed on the other side of him, but I did not. There's another thing too about players like Axis and Double O or whatever. Uh, they have zero fear in their heart and with the way that they play. So in a lot of situations where I'm going to hesitate, they absolutely will not. Um, and that's going to give them the advantage in a lot of these situations. Tried to spin and it wasn't fast enough. Also, now I just realized I'm probably I'm probably making my opponent. Actually, I don't know. I didn't I didn't double check the bracket to see if I had a buy first round. I did not consider the fact that I am actually supposed to participate in the tournament. It's probably starting right now, and my opponent is very well maybe looking and trying to find out where I am. And I'm uh, hold on. I did I didn't I didn't think this through. I just saw access. So I was like, oh yeah, that'd be great for content. And then I'm like, I just completely forgot everything else. No way, I lost that air to air. Yo, Kim Kitty's thank you for the 14 months. I greatly appreciate appreciate that. I should be game. Hold on, can I check the Discord to see if they started yet in the middle of the Did I get reset? I think I got reset. I let go of the controller and I got hit with the blue combo. Oh god. Oh god. I can't I can't get in, bro. You're joking. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be actually kidding me. Okay, anyway, uh can I see while we're in the middle of this? Uh I don't think the tournament has actually started yet, so I think I've got time to run another game with access before I wrap things up. Not that it's gonna do me any good, but um all right, run it back. One more. One more. Okay. Raccoon beam is absolutely absurd. That is absolutely absurd. I reflect. I reflect. Ugh. Ugh. I'm dead. Actually, I survived here. Coon beam lasts way too long. That is insane. Can I? Can I? I would like to tag. Couldn't air dash next already. Bro, I, 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 I can't. I can't talk and play this dude at the same time, bro. It, it, it literally takes. I was not joking when I said it takes 100% of my brain power to fight a player like Axis. I'm just so completely, I again, I'm mashing reflect on wake up and it's just nowhere to be found. Um, what was I about to say? It's, it's just so ridiculously overwhelming. Axis might, I don't know, would, would I say he's the best Ginyu player? What's this playing Ginyu right now other than like double L and Axis? I'm trying to think. 
I mean, obviously there's Todd too, there's Majin Akalai, but I'm talking about like players who compete on a regular basis at any level. It's it's just too much. It's it's just way too much. This team is absolute Lotus Nightmare Fuel. This team is just absolute Lotus Nightmare Fuel. I, I can't think, you know what I'm saying? It's the, the, the offense, the neutral and, and, and the, the pressure is just it's too overwhelming. Neither my neutral nor my defense are good enough to handle a team built like this. Always want to flex on the YouTuber, bro. What did I do to you? Why? Why did he even go for that? Why did he even go for that? Everybody always wants to flex on me. For why? Everybody wants to show off against the YouTuber. Anyway, uh, that's 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 all I got for today. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed that ass whooping. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Hit this video with a like if you enjoyed. It. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all this content I'm bringing you. With all of being said, this pretty much off today. Remember, let the capitalists from the bad. Later.